Hello and welcome back to our 2 minutes American English grammar lesson. Me and Orul Islam in the company of FKM Tahsin Orul Islam from your amazing, wonderful and fantastic channel Laisham Bangladesh. In this program, we'll teach and learn the very basics of modal verbs. Tahsin, look at the screen and read the words aloud. Can, could, can, could, may, may might, might, shall, will, would, shall, should, shall, should and must. must. And we call them modal verbs. And uh, there are some other verbs or expressions like uh, have to, had to, used to, had better. Uh, they indicate the semi-modals. These have the same meaning to the modals, but uh, they are not, uh, they do not, they are not, uh, uh, they are not the same grammatically. So, by this time, you may be wondering why such a you and crying about the modal verbs, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, look at the examples again. Mary would like to live. Uh, Mary would not like to live. And uh, would Mary like to live? Here, would is a modal verb. Modal verb. And remember that a modal is an auxiliary verb. And does is never used with do, does or did. Uh, they, rem they do not change their form. You cannot add uh, as, yes or ing or ed with the modal verbs and uh, uh, modal verbs are uh, modal verbs always followed by the infinitive without to i mean the bare infinitive so another important aspect is thus in uh, that is that um, a modal auxiliaries have a number of different meanings and uh, modal auxiliaries usually indicate something which is uh, potential or uncertain now uh, look at the examples again uh, can i use your uh, phone here I am seeking your permission, right? Or uh, when I was young like you, I could uh, run fast. It is uh, showing ability in the past. Or it may, ri it may rain tomorrow. It is showing possibility. Or uh, she must stop smoking. It is obligation. Thanks for watching. See ya.